Hello and welcome to Low Budget Gaming and welcome to the Steam Summer Sale 2021. This is my second video. I'll be looking at games that are under $10 and at least equal to their previous lows. Um, games will be priced between $5 and $10. I'll make a separate video for games below $5. I've already made a video for games that are on a new low. It's not price specific, but like games that have hit new highest discounts. So make sure to check that one. Link will be uh, somewhere below. And yeah, I'll make more videos later. But before I begin, I want to address the elephant in the room. And that is the Xbox Game Pass. So if you watched yesterday's stream, you may have realized that a lot of games that are on sale are also available on the Xbox Game Pass. And the Xbox Game Pass is frequently on a good sale as well. So right now, you'll get uh, three months of the xbox ultimate for only one dollar or 50 rupees in india it'll be one euro one australian dollar one canadian dollar wherever you are it's very cheap uh, you can just get the pc version for one dollar for the month but get the ultimate for three months because you get xbox on console and on pc including um, the live thing and ea play and everything is included now, this is not limited to like one-time purchase either. I've been uh, buying this Ultimate and the Game Pass for many years now, since 2018. And what you have to do is once your three-month period expires, you may have to wait like a month or something, and then you can get it again. I have done this many, many times. Like I've played most of these games on Xbox and then bought it uh, later, like Forza Horizon 4 and a few of the Sea of Thieves I've played here. Anyway. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to talk about the games on Steam that are below $10. And if the game is also on the Xbox Game Pass, you'll see a Xbox Game Pass logo in the corner somewhere. So you know that the, the game is also on Xbox. I don't want to repeat it every time there's a game that's also available on Xbox. Uh, so I'll just put the logo and you should get an idea. All right, so let's begin. First up is doom 2016 overwhelmingly positive great game um yeah fun shooter well optimized runs very well you'll get very high fps it looks good it's fairly recent decent campaign like not much you can say wrong about this um 70 off 479 in india 599 dollars 449 pounds 599 euros now i did say i won't mention xbox game pass but i'll have to make an exception this is on the Xbox Game Pass, but not on the PC one, only on console and cloud. Next is Katana Zero. So, stylish pixel art game. Um, you could say Hotline Miami type. Basically, you have to clear rooms in one go. There'll be multiple enemies. You have to clear them. And if you die, you start all over again. Once you complete a mission, it sort of gives you, I don't know if it has it here, but it shows you all your attempts. And very fun, very sort of smooth, stylish, uh, you know, uh, gameplay. The combat, etc. is very satisfying. You can see very positive, overwhelmingly so. 40% off, 275 rupees, 899 dollars, 683 pounds, 749 uh, euros, and 1290 in Australia. Next is Slime Rancher. Um, you could say it's kind of like Stardew Valley. But it's a nice, relaxing game where you are sort of farming these slime creatures. What are they called again? Slimes, maybe? I don't remember. I played a little bit. And it's surprisingly detailed. You have to manage things, you know, feed them and cage them and, you know, basically farm them. And different biomes to explore. Again, look at the reviews here. 70% off, 169 in India. $599, dollars 449 pounds. 599 euros and they have recently announced a sequel to this game next we have hollow knight so a metroidvania beautiful looking game in 2d um, they say souls like but i don't think that's a correct tag it's not that difficult it's it's a vast it has a vast map that you have to explore and yeah, but it's not hard. Anyway, it's a Metroidvania. You will die quite a bit, but it's, it's I won't call it Dark Souls. 50% off, 239 rupees, 749 dollars, 549 pounds, 749 euros. 
Next is Mark of the Ninja Remastered. So I hope they don't have, yeah, they don't have souls here. Uh, this is more like a stealth based game. Your ninja is really effective in like uh, when you sneak around and kill people. So basically you go around the level, you disable lighting, you hide when somebody, you are just sort of outside the cone of vision of someone, you take them out quickly, hide the body, stuff like that. It's been a while since I've played it, but yeah. And there have been other similar games as well, but this is quite nice. Uh, again, the controls are really good. So what they're selling is, now if you had the original game, they give you the upgrade. But this is strange because I had the original game and they gave me the upgrade for free, but they're also selling it separately, which is weird. Anyway, if you want to buy the game itself, if you don't have the original, it's 60% off, 211 rupees, 799 dollars, 619 pounds and 671 euros. PC building simulator. So again, a game very popular. Uh, you basically run your own PC repair business and it's pretty realistic. You buy parts, you get initially, you get some simple jobs, people wanting to clean the virus and stuff like that. And then it gets more complicated. You get more money, you expand your business, you get like more, um, you know, space and you add more things and stuff like that. So yeah, pretty good. Although, in real life, you don't get as much money as easily, and people are more annoying. 60% off, 211 rupees, 799 dollars, 599 pounds, and 799 euros. Next up, we have Titanfall 2. I mentioned this in the new lows as well, and I'm mentioning here again because it's a nice game. Um, overwhelmingly positive. The FPS, like the campaign itself, is very good. Multiplayer is very good as well. This is 80% of 299 rupees, 599 dollars, 499 pounds, 599 euros. Next, we have a way out. So, a co op um, story game. I've seen a bit of the gameplay, and the start of the game is basically ripped off from <laughs> Shawshank Redemption, the movie. But nevertheless, it's quite popular. And this is 75% of 374 rupees 749 dollars 624 pounds and 749 euros rise of the tomb raider so from what i've heard this is considered the best of the trilogy the new ones and this is 60 percent off hang on this is the season pass this is the base game uh 80 percent off 199 rupees 599 dollars 399 pounds and 599 euros Next, we have Yakuza Kiwami. This is 50% off, 332 rupees, 999 dollars, 749 pounds, 999 euros. So multiple games here. Most of them are on sale, I believe. And yeah, this is 50%. This is also, I think, a new low. Yeah. Last on 24, six times. So I believe this is equal to its previous low because it has been on this price six times. So meaning... It's not gone cheaper, but it has been at this price multiple times. Then we have Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. So, um, how do we describe this game? It is quite different to a lot of games. It has some unique elements. The audio is special. It's your normal hack and slash type game, but it is more than that. It uh, addresses some mental health issues as well. Is psychological horror. I won't call horror. It says psychological. I think that's a good tag. It's just psychological. Atmospheric, definitely. So, one of the best games I've played. The reason I'm struggling is because it doesn't fit like a normal game. It's like a story-driven third-person hack and slash. That's the best description I can give. But it's so much more than that in terms of uh, other things that it tries to do. 75% off, 182 rupees, 749 dollars, 624 pounds, 749 euros. Next, we have Two Point Hospital. So this is your hospital management types game, but it's not like a serious one. Um, people come here with like comedy elements, and you just have to, you know, play around. It's a fun, funny game, basically. And this is 75% off, 299 rupees, 874 pounds, 624, uh, uh, no, sorry, 874 dollars, 624 pounds, and 874 euros. 
And there are quite a few DLCs now at this point. So try the base game if you like it. You may. It's kind of like Sims in a way, if you think about it. Next, we have Sniper Elite 4. So I believe they've stopped making the Sniper Elite games after this one. And this one was, I think, in the... It says Italy. I think it's was set in Italy. This again set during the Second World War. And this is 85% of 176 rupees, 899 dollars, 599 pounds, and 899 euros. I don't know what the deluxe version includes. Yeah, if you know the extras that you get, you get all these things in the deluxe version. Let me know. Next, we have Dragon's Dogma Dark Risen. Uh, open world RPG. It's a little old, but it got uh, ported to PC not too long ago. It still looks all right. I think it's sort of like from 2010 or something. And I often see this mentioned um, in like a cult classic type of game, like a lot of people say underrated game that's that means that deserves more, I guess. So yeah, you may want to check this out. It is 75% off. 539 rupees, 899 dollars, 719 pounds, and 899 euros. Next, we have Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin. Fortunately, the first Dark Souls game, the Dark Souls Remastered, is not on sale. Dark Souls 2 is on sale, and this is uh, under 10 dollars. So, 999 dollars, 749 pounds, and 999 euros. Cloudpunk. So this is like a new indie game that I like quite a bit. It's more of a exploration driving type of game. The story is set in like a cyberpunk city. You are a delivery driver and you get jobs and you go around the city doing your jobs, but you're also involved in like the bigger story of the city. City is like almost collapsing and you meet interesting people and you do their quests. The gameplay itself isn't too complicated. You're basically just driving. And it's the storytelling. Most of it is pretty good. And one or two things I did not like about the game, like the main character in this game, the woman you play as, she kind of sounds like she's um, from today, basically. Like modern day girl with like the same attitude and like, sarcasm. She doesn't sort of fit into her story, like her background in like they tell the story about her, how she came. Her attitude and her behavior seems like somebody just reading the lines and not acting the part, if that makes sense. But other than that, the story, the game they created, the world, the uh, cyberpunk city, that was pretty good and I liked it. And they also recently had a DLC. I played a little bit. I streamed it here as well. And I really like the sort of work they did here. But anyway, the base game is 50% off, 264 rupees, 999 dollars, 849 pounds, and 999 euros. In fact, I've made a review for this game as well on the channel. I'll put it in the link below if I can remember. But you can search it on the channel. Next is Elderborn. Um, this is also another hack and slash. This is the first person hack and slash game. And this is also one of those silly fun games. I played this and I streamed a bit of it as well. And this was funny, very funny. I I don't know. You're sort of like a barbarian type person and you can pick a guy or a girl and then you go and just defeat the hordes of, you know, enemies that come across. Sort of like dead uh, zombie type creatures. It seems like it's been a while. Yeah. First person hack and slash that's and metal music. They keep mentioning that. 50% off, 229 uh, rupees, 749 dollars, 569 pounds, 624 euros. Need for speed payback. So as you know, the EA games are now on Steam. And this is surprisingly affordable. Now, I personally have given up on the Need for Speed games for a long time. I haven't played one. But if you still enjoy them, it's 75% off, 374 rupees, 749 dollars, 624 pounds, 749 euros. Warhammer Vermintide 2. I often mention this game, my favorite co-op game, Hack and Slash. You also have uh, guns as well. So 
this is set in the end times of Warhammer. Uh, four player co-op game. Uh, you have five characters, four of them play in a particular map. You can play alone with three bots or you can play with you know real people. They can join in and out. And you have to basically defeat these hordes of ratmen and these chaos warriors. And then later on they add the, the beast, beastmen or something. Yeah, so yeah, uh, fun game, really fun. Movement is good, combat is satisfying. Uh, well, yeah, nothing else to say. I have over 100 hours in this game, I really like it. 75% off, 174 rupees, 749 dollars, 594 pounds, 699 euros. They also have a bunch of DLCs here. Now, one key thing to remember is, all of this is just cosmetic here, from here to here, this is all cosmetic. What you're looking for in terms of extra maps are back to Uber Strike, Winds of Magic. Um, I thought there was one more. Shadows over Pocket Huffin. So these are the maps, the expansions with new maps. Then you have uh, specialist classes for uh, three of the five characters. They keep adding more. So Grail Knight, Outcast Engineer, and Sister of the Thorn. So there's an Elf, a Dwarf, a Knight, a uh, not a Vampire, but the Witch Hunter, and a uh, Fire Mage. So Grail Knight is for the Knight guy. Outcast Engineer is the Dwarf career, and Sister of the Thorn is the Elf and career. So, yeah, so these are the things. You don't have to worry about these. And also, let's say you are playing with a friend. If they have a particular map DLC, you can also play it. So, for example, I have Shadows of Bogan Half, and my friend doesn't have it. But if they play with me, they can play the map if I'm in the lobby or something. Or if I'm the party leader, I guess. So, yeah, that's also something you can consider. But very fun co-op game. If you want something to play with friends, highly recommend this game. Next is Anno 1404 History Edition. So the Anno games are really fun. You could say city builders, medieval style. And I've played from the first one. The first one is my favorite, 1602. They have multiple versions. The latest one is 1800. This is somewhere in the middle. This came out 2008, I believe. So there was 1602, 1503, 1701, then this one, 1404. This version here on Steam is the history edition. So basically, uh, kind of a remaster it's not really a remaster but what ubisoft did was supported it for newer windows that's it uh, so i think widescreen support as well so if you don't have the original then this makes sense if you have the original then don't buy this but it still looks really good it's got vast cities to build and graphically it's still fine like the older games personally i would be still happy with 1602 that came out in 98 or something but most of you may not like the graphics, but this has got the right balance. It will run on potato systems and it will look good. And yeah, uh, fun game. The latest one, of course, is 1800, which came out, I think, two years ago. That's a bit more expensive. And it's also not on Steam because Ubisoft has stopped adding their new games on Steam. So this is 50% off, 374 rupees, 749 dollars, 624 pounds and 749 euros. Next is Wolfenstein 2, The New Colossus. Yeah, sequel to The New Order. Um, I haven't played it, so I can't really say much. But it should be the usual formula. 80% off, 3, 3, 3.99 uh, rupees, 7.99 dollars, 4.99 pounds, and 5.99 euros. Then we have Vampire. Uh, this is a RPG set in the early 1900s in London. You are this guy, Dr. Reed, and he gets bitten and turns into a vampire. But he's still a nice guy. He's still a doctor, so he has to balance that. You know, he still needs to feed, but he has to you know, be careful. It has an interesting mechanic. Like, the thing I liked was you go around this, like, the hospital where you work at. You only work night shifts. You can understand why. And 
you go around interacting with people and you have to pick the care the people and you learn about their stories and then decide whose blood you're going to suck because you you need to feed and you cannot sort of you know leave the nice people alone and these scumbags i guess you can you drink their blood so interesting moral dilemma 75 percent off 399 rupees 999 dollars a 74 pounds and 999 euros uh, we happy few so it's been a while since i spoke about this game i actually did do a bit of a let's play for this one i think i did not manage to complete it but this was quite a lot of uh, this got a lot of hype when it first came out so it's sort of set in a alternate 1960s yeah 1960s uh, england and everybody the government has just fed everyone drugs this there's a pill called the joy and you have to take it and then you feel happy and everybody's uh, upbeat and stuff but the reality is obviously bad so when the effects of the pill wear out you see the things for the way they are and yeah you are one of those guys and you stop taking the pill and then you have to escape because everybody's after you and then you uncover more stories and get an idea what i would say i don't know if they've changed any of the gameplay mechanics but i would say play this on the easy difficulty because there are some balance issues if you play on the harder difficulty because i think i played like on normal difficulty or something and it was getting a little annoying because what happens is you take the pill and it starts wearing out so as soon as it wears out everybody starts recognizing you instantly that was annoying but the other problem is if you take too many pills you overdose on it which is also a problem so it was constantly a struggle like if you're out in the street and your meds wear out everybody instantly knows i don't know if you smell different or something and then you get in trouble you have to run hide blah 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 just play it on the easy difficulty your meds will last a bit longer and you'll get through the story but anyway the game is 85 percent off 449 rupees 899 dollars 674 pounds and 899 euros sniper ghost warrior contracts so these are the newer sniper ghost warrior games uh came out in 2019 this is 70 percent off 299 rupees 899 dollars 749 pounds and 899 euros i have this game but i haven't had the chance to play it i got it from the humble bundle recently so i can't really say how good it is compared to the sniper elite games i think this might be in first person not sure sniper elite are third person and this one I, again i'm not sure if anybody's played this game let me know it might be first person and then finally we have pixar so you know arc survival evolved this is like the minecraft style version of it uh, if you like these games you know dinosaurs and stuff like that uh, then you should like this game especially if you like minecraft so yeah 76 percent off 215 rupees 959 dollars 743 pounds and 815 euros all right so that's one more video done next up i'll be looking at games below five dollars i may go lower as well like below two dollars or something but first up we have the five dollar games if you want any specific requests in terms of a genre that you want me to cover like open world games or like platformers or rpgs or something let me know and if there's enough uh, demand i'll try and make those as well but that's it for this one thank you for watching see you next time